part of the first step was just getting in and clearing out stuff that we didn't have put our hands on. If we didn't use it, it was gone. And if, if we made a more efficient workspace for the kids, they'd have lots of, lots of free reign during the day to move around to different areas of the room, get what they need, lots of gathering places so that we could join together and look at presentations that the kids did. And we most importantly though made a, what I consider to be a very homey and very welcoming environment for them. The goal is to build a classroom where every part of your classroom is purposeful. There's workstations throughout the room and they're flexible workstations. So if we take a look first at the setup of the desks, I really like having individual desks because we can compile groups in any assortment or any ways that we like. And they're so movable. So we have a system where the kids can change groups and we try to do it in one minute. So one minute I count and the kids generally pick up their desk quietly. They know where the new grouping is and they join the new group. And I give them the flexibility to sit with whomever they want within their group. So what's great about individual desks is that they're so flexible. And it's a workstation. Every single group becomes a workstation. So the work, this station may not end up with these kids. It may be a particular activity going on at this group of desks. So they're both workstations and individual desks. Now here we have at the back, we have a spot where all of our editing and writing occurs. We're fortunate enough to have quite a few computers in the room and the kids love that because this becomes a work center and a writing block center as well. So we try to get as many computers as we can only that they like they really do like to use the computers and that they've got good typing skills then they're very efficient in their work. So even old computers I try to re 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 you know, refurbish them and bring them in and, and we just get them the board to include them in our system. So some of these are older machines, but of course they work fine. They're, they're, they're fine for our, for our purposes. Um, also over here, this is the only section I reserve for myself. I just have my professional books or things that I'm interested in pursuing for the year. I try to keep my space and the, the use of book binders and such minimal as I can and even even the last part of it is really all kids the kids stuff as well so this is also a place where the kids can come and they know that there's materials available to them I want them to feel that the room is theirs and that they can go in and use wherever use whatever materials they need um, coming over here we have studies show that the more books you have in your classroom the better and I make the kids responsible for doing all of the organizing of the library. So they'll do the labeling, they'll label all the books, and it's their job to keep the books in order. You can see some days are better than others, but in general, they're pretty good about it. They like to think of themselves as librarians. Another good thing is I keep a combination of pieces that the kids have produced on record. The kids love to read their own work. So I, what I do is very simple. I take their work and make booklets out of them and the kids are allowed to take those books during reading period because they love to read their own work. And one way of doing that simply is on this board here. I leave all the kids work up and available for the time that we're doing that section. And I just put them on thumbtacks so they're welcome to pull them down at any time and either present them or just use share them for the reading. And at the end of a two week block, I would take the board down and Sirlock's binding, put all the pieces together into a book, which the kids would share throughout the year. So the kids' work doesn't end, it actually becomes part of a reading for the year. So that I think then they really enjoy that. You'd be surprised how often they select their own work over professional publications. Next, um, I try to eliminate as best I can any books that they're not currently working with. I keep either the books off-site. These would only be books we would be using during the year. 
and I try as best I can to keep the room as clutter free as possible. But of course, the kind of nature of the work we're doing, you do get <laughs> some overlap. So project work sometimes does get put off to the side here and there. But every once in a while, the kids will have to learn to take responsibility for cleaning up. This is our gathering area. So we're fortunate again to have a smart board. And I make sure the kids have the technological wherewithal to run everything. So I'm not needed to actually get a project up and running. The kids know how to use everything, um, all the software, and everything is at hand for them to start the projector and manipulate the smart port. We call this the learning zone, and the rule is you have to be within the learning zone along this line, so you have good sight lines to the front, and you're always being able to listen to the presentations respectfully. Uh, we do. Use, I still haven't given up on tried and true. I still do a lot of work on the board, but I tend to use it uh, sparingly if I can, because I, I like the kids to be active. I like the kids to be doing most of the work themselves. So I don't like to be doing too much um, chalk and talk. I tend to want the kids to be producing more of the work on their own, so, which is again why we have so many resources in the room for them to grab and use whenever they can. Other than that, you'll notice that uh, I want to honor their work as best I can, so I try to get their work up and change it regularly. I like something simple, so I use a lot of thumbtacks and chalk or cork boards. Um, it gets things up and down, easy for me to manipulate, and I think the kids like to see their work up all the time, and they like to see it regularly changed. It's not a, not, a, not, a, not a lot of work for me either. It's actually quite easy to get that done. Other than that, uh, I think that's generally the way we've organized the room. Oh, except that I, this is new this year. I didn't have this last year. This is a, a meeting area for if I'm editing with the group or if we need a small group to work with me. I also like it in the morning. I try to put the daily work out on this table so the kids know, oh, if I need something, it's likely on the round table. And it's sort of a gathering spot for them to work. To work. But it's a great spot for me, too. It's we put comfortable chairs around here, so we get, uh, we get our editing done together, and we're comfortable while we're doing it. 